we know the 2020 draft literally just wrapped, but it's never too early to look ahead to next year. The 2021 class about to be loaded. We got two generational QBs coming out of college. Dudes that can put NFL franchises on their backs. We also got mad walking mismatches at receiver. Some straight dogs. But this group is extra special for another reason too. College football stars can't jump to the league until at least three years of college ball. So this is gonna be the first class made up of some overtime OGs. We know who got next in the NFL. So let us put you on. Here are five guys to watch for in the 2021 draft. You can't talk about next year's draft without starting with Trevor Lawrence. Six foot six, legit speed, hair like Thor and an absolute cannon for an arm. Prodigy, say it with me, prodigy. Clemson's QB1 was a problem way before he set foot in Death Valley. Lawrence grew up in Cartersville, Georgia and was dubbed a generational QB since his high school days. Before Trevor was trying to one-up what Deshaun Watson did at Clemson, he was breaking the NFL QB's high school records. At Cartersville High, Lawrence threw for nearly 14,000 yards and put up 172 touchdowns. Trevor could have been league bound out of high school if it was allowed. Every college was after him, but Clemson was always a perfect fit. Despite all the hype, pressure, and accolades, he not only won a national championship as a true freshman, which almost never happens in college football, but lit Alabama up to win it all. Clemson came up short to LSU in this past year's natty, so Trevor's got some big goals before he takes a jump to the league. We'll see if Trevor can win another ship, and maybe a Heisman too. But come next April, don't be surprised if Trevor's the first name called by Roger Goodell. Trevor Lawrence is definitely the big dog when it comes to next year's draft. But this guy right here has a real chance to steal that number one spot. Justin Fields might be the most talented QB we've ever seen. But he didn't have a similar high school or college path as Lawrence. What's crazy is Justin and Trevor been linked together for a minute. No one knew about Fields until he beat out Trevor to win the Elite 11. The nation's biggest high school QB competition. From there, Justin blew up and committed to Georgia to play for his hometown. But Fields was stuck behind Jake Fromm and not able to show his true potential. After freshman year, Justin transferred to the Ohio State and reminded the world how elite he really was. Fields led Ohio State to the college football semis, just minutes away from beating Trevor head to head. He put up 51 touchdowns to just three interceptions and finished third in the Heisman voting. How's that for following Dwayne Haskins? So before you assume Trevor Lawrence is going number one next year, don't forget about the boy Jay Fields. Either way, two franchises are getting game-changing quarterbacks. The next guy I'm gonna put y'all on to is a dog. And he's named after an Egyptian god, Amon Ra St. Brown. Man, that name just sounds like he's destined for big things. This USC star whiteout been a savage since high school. Amon Ra speaks three languages, his big bros on the Packers, and Pops was Mr. Universe. Amon Ra does it all on the field, gets Aki in the weight room, and looks like a future first round pick. He can play inside, outside, don't matter. When St. Brown burns a DB, he lets him know too. Amon's coming off a breakout sophomore year where he went off for 77 catches and over a thousand yards. His goal for year three is over 1,500 yards and a national championship. Next year's whiteout class is gonna be headlined by Louisiana legend Jamar Chase, but Amon is just as good as anybody in college football. Chase might be the favorite to be the first receiver taken in 2021, but don't be surprised when you see Amon Ra taken early next April. 6'3 and 235 pounds isn't the biggest tight end we've ever seen but there's no doubt Miami's Brevin Jordan is gonna be great. We got to see Brevin back when he was an All-American. Dude's got jokes for days, but it's no jokes on the field. After killing it at the legendary high school Bishop Gorman, Brevin headed to South Beach to put on for the U. He's been a little banged up through college, but Jordan's already a captain for the Canes and made the ACC first team. This fall is his chance to blow up and move his name up the draft boards. We're betting on Jordan to be the first tight end taken in 2021. Don't sleep. Speaking of sleep, for our last guy, we got a sleeper for y'all. Georgia running back, Zamir White. He goes by Zeus, and Zamir's been a freight train since before he committed to the G. Zamir might have the craziest highlights of any back we've seen it over time. 
Zeus balled out at Scotland High in North Carolina. In his last three years there, my guy ran for almost 6,000 yards and 101 touchdowns. That's over 33 tutties a season. After two ACL tears in a year, Zamir battled back and saw the field in 2019 for Georgia. He's looking like RB1 for UGA and a sleeper to be a top back for next year's draft. Two torn ACLs couldn't stop Zeus. If he stays healthy, watch out. So that was our big five for the 2021 draft. Trevor, Justin, Amon Ra, Brevin, and Zamir. Look out for our guys this fall back on the field and be ready to see them make the league real soon. I've been OT Cambo. You've been hip to the new players. I'm out. I'm kind of tired of everyone wanting to be like us, Chloe. I mean, but we fire though. That's true. So if you want to check out the rest of the videos, they're right here. Heat. And you know you got to subscribe because you got to get fly like us. Got big on. You know?